Sí, yo lo empecé a sacar. Sí, y luego me tocó la calle con él. Uh, first off, we we'll start uh, by um, presenting our company. Uh, thank you to YABT for the introduction. Um, so, uh, so Analyticom it's a major digital agency uh, which offers. Uh, uh, social media management, personal branding, uh, inbound marketing, uh, web development, uh, smart cities development. We work uh, with several startups uh, to make them, uh, to help them mainly on, on, on these uh, main areas. Uh, we have offices in Caracas, Panama and Miami. And, uh, we specialize uh, mostly in asset, uh, marketing development, mostly digital marketing, and also technology development. So we're going to talk today about uh, networking, which I'd like to say that uh, it's not a technique, it's mostly a way of life. And what I mean by this is that uh, as networking being the capacity of extending one's personal net and professional network to form mutually beneficial relationships in the long run, uh, it's not something that's done uh, in, in, in just one event or, or one cocktail or, or something like that. It's something that must be done uh, daily, something that must be done uh, wherever you have to always be uh, with the mindset towards networking and it's not something that's uh, that that's done uh, over over a, a variable of quantity it's more uh, it's entirely about about the quality of contacts you make uh, throughout uh, your professional and personal life so uh, it's a common mistake, as, as I said before, to think that uh, networking is something that's done only in events and conferences. Uh, so you have to start early. Well, what, I mean, what, I, what I mean by this is that uh, you have to do it before you need it. Uh, that being said, uh, if you need to talk uh, to the I don't know, a representative in a major company, uh, you have to go uh, way before uh, it's essential. So you have, because you, you have to start building that position, uh, building that relationship and building the trust between the person you need to talk to and yourself. And the second thing is that don't think, uh, there's a typo there, so don't think positions, think people. Uh, so don't think that uh, I'm not going to talk to this person because he's not a CEO or he's not a uh, big executive. Uh, the people around you, uh, it's they're probably going to be uh, high demand executives in the future. So as uh, soon as you can start building relationships uh, with the people that are it's easier to establish a one-on-one -on -one relationship with someone who's not in a deciding position right now but maybe will be in the future so how to start to network how to start to to get this mindset right so first if you're not comfortable with networking uh, you have to start small uh, Start with acquaintances. Uh, try to build relationships uh, with people at your school, at your university, at your college, uh, at your uh, 
uh, at your office, uh, maybe people that you, you don't know that well, and start building up to that. Uh, ask for introductions, uh, perhaps uh, the guy that always sits, sits next to you in the office, uh, ask for an introduction uh, if you don't know him. Uh, and also, uh, networking, as I said before, uh, it's not only done uh, for for a professional uh, environment. It's also done uh, in in your personal life. So uh, a good way to start is if you have hobbies, if you uh, uh, have something that you that you really like that maybe is not uh, your your main activity or or your main uh, issue with the with the uh, with your professional life, uh, start going to events. Uh, if you like, I don't know, drums, uh, go to to competitions or, or drone events. Uh, if you like, uh, maybe um, I don't know, Star Wars, or you like fiction, or you like go to a comic con, go go to a, a and start building relationships there. The those people that probably like your hobbies as well. They, I'm sure they have a, a, a professional life that could help you uh, somewhere in the future. Uh, so, so, thing you have to consider is uh, you have to offer something before you ask. Uh, so, be generous, uh, invest in people, go out of your way to help, and forget your own agenda. Uh, what we mean by this is uh, be generous and invest in people means that. You have to go uh, if, if someone is speaking to you, just listen to them. Uh, try to think constantly how, what who do you know, what can you do to help them in their issue, even though uh, they may not help you at all in yours. Uh, and and that, that's what we mean by forget your own agenda. So just think ways to help them. Uh, have a plan, so you need to always uh, know ahead uh, what you really need uh, in advance for 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 your uh, networking event or your or your probably you want to meet uh, someone. So be prepared. Have all the knowledge that you need to have uh, at hand. Uh, group your contacts or your prospects. Have a clear target and. Follow up and follow through. We're gonna uh, go deep in that uh, in a in a in a bit. So, yep. so how do we prepare uh, for for events? So we divide this in three stages. So before the event, during the event, and after the event. So before the event, first, as we said. Uh, have a goal. Uh, don't go to an event just because. Go to an event because you're going to get something out of it. Uh, what it is that you get out of, out of the event is up to you. It's up to your project. It's up, up to your personal uh, your personal agenda or your or your goals. But be clear in what what it is you need to to achieve or accomplish in the event. That's the only way you're going to know if the event at the end was successful or wasn't. So before the event, make a list of people attending the event. Most of the networking events, conferences, they uh, tend to post or send the attendee list uh, or the, the speaker, the list of speakers and, and, and uh, people that are going to be exposing their, their projects. So uh, divide them in uh, three major groups, uh, critical, which is people that you really, really need to talk to. Uh, this group is mostly 10 to 20 people. Uh, important contacts, uh, which is people that you're going to be handing your card uh, at some point. Um, and the majority, they, uh, that's mainly the rest of the, of the event. So uh, dress to impress. Uh, don't go, don't go to a networking event, uh, being the odd one out. 
uh, it's better to be overdressed than to be underdressed. If everyone is uh, uh, wearing uh, a suit, uh, it's not okay that you go in shorts. So uh, you're gonna feel like the odd one out, and, and that's kind of the wrong attention you need to be calling. Um, so have your business card at hand always. Uh, it's the easiest way to share your contact with people. Uh, and always, uh, we're gonna see this uh, in in a few in a few slides, but. Uh, Always try to make an excuse uh, so people give you their contacts so uh, so you can have them at hand as well. So before the event, uh, read about the industry, read about the trends of the industry in the event, read about the speakers. Uh, a good way to start a conversation is to have knowledge around the environment which you're uh, which you're working there. Have your pitch ready. So be prepared to talk about yourself or your projects uh, or your company uh, for maybe 30 seconds, three minutes, or eight to 10 minutes. So those are like three formats that you need to know if you have very little time, so prepare your 30 second uh, speech about who you are, what you do, and, and what is it you guys uh, do professionally. If you have a little bit more time or can get more in depth, prepare at three to maybe four or five minutes uh, pitch. And uh, the most time someone's going to give you is not more than 10 minutes uh, when you're rambling about yourself. So uh, get to the point and always uh, be concise with, with what, you, what you say. So which tools can you use uh, prior to, to an event? So uh, LinkedIn, you can uh, research uh, people, research companies, uh, research trends and, and industries, also in Twitter. Uh, AngelList, uh, for those who don't, who don't know it, uh, it's, a, it's a network of startups and, and uh, business investors and, and companies, uh, which can give you a nice exposure as well. Uh, Mu, it's a it's a delivery uh, printing system. So uh, if you don't have your business cards, uh, you can get in there and, and have them shipped to your house. Uh, to do is an Evernote uh, note taking and task management, so that you you know uh, which contacts you you have to be uh, uh, crossing off a list. So during the event, you get to the venue, you get there, you uh, try to uh, see uh, where are the like the hot spots in the in the in the venue. Uh, first off, never dismiss anyone as unimportant. Uh, don't try to never uh, diss out people uh, because you think uh, they're not gonna uh, build you up or or help you out. So uh, you don't know if in uh, an hour, maybe you can connect that someone to another one, uh, and that would make a huge difference uh, in your in your in your relationship with that you're trying to build. Uh, present yourself in an efficient and strong manner. Always remember everyone's name. Uh, that's one of the takeaways. Uh, if you have to write them down, write them down. If you have to ask them again, please do. Uh, I think it's uh, more polite to say to someone, uh, I'm sorry I didn't catch your name, than to later call them Julia when their name was uh, Teresa. So uh, I think it's better that, uh, to be very sure of, of someone's name. Uh, that's going to be your key takeaway. Uh, during your conversation. So always show kindness, interest, and honesty. Uh, and if you're trying to uh, get into conversation uh, with someone, uh, please uh, ask open-ended uh, open questions. Uh, no yes or no questions, because that's not going to sum up to a conversation. So 
uh, if I like, if I ask you, do you like your job? Uh, the answer may be very well yes, and that's it. So if I if I ask you, what do you like about your job? Uh, the question is going to be uh, the conversation is going to be a little more uh, more rich, uh, longer, and you're going to get more insights into that person that you're going to get with a simple yes. So during the event, uh, stop asking for apologies. Uh, people are there to connect. People there are there to to get to know one another. So uh, it gets tired. Uh, Get stars on if you are all the time. I'm sorry to ask. I'm sorry to bother. Uh, if it's not if it's not too much trouble, could you give me this or that? Uh, so uh, don't be sorry to ask. Don't be sorry to bother. Uh, they uh, all the contacts there are there for that reason. So be strong about it and don't project insecurity in 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 your in your in, in your conversation. Uh, always listen first. Seek ways to help and connect. Uh, connect several contacts between them. As I said before, if you're talking to a guy that owns a farm, and an hour later you know someone who has an irrigation system that helps farmers, uh, I don't know, uh, be uh, get 25% more crops. Uh, uh, without uh, than if they don't have their irrigation system and maybe you're in tech you don't care much about the farms uh, but you can perfectly say oh I think there's a potential customer for you there let me introduce you uh, uh, Mark please meet uh, Jules uh, they're great guys uh, and then you just leave them be and they're gonna remember you as the guys that always uh, introduce them uh, without uh, any hidden agendas or, or, or something. Uh, when the opportunity presents uh, to to talk to yourself, to talk to the, to about yourself, uh, get to the point, get quickly to the point. Uh, but the key here is to build rapport uh, with with the the person that that you're you're talking to, kind of like building empathy. Uh, you need to know that you need to make the other uh, the other one know that you're there to help them. You're there. You're willing to help them. Uh, you need help, and you need them to feel like they are also they must be also willing to help you. Take notes, details about the people and emails. Very important always. Uh, Try to get their contact. Uh, a good way to get their someone's contact is by helping them. If they're talking about their daughter that goes to swimming classes, and you know someone that could help them with, I don't know, um, a pool or a club or a better swimming class, uh, say, "Oh, give me your email. I'm going to send you the the contact to my swimming teacher," or I don't know. Uh, or I read an article about how swimming develops uh, children's uh, neural activity. I don't know, and get their email, get their phones, uh, get their their contacts. So then you can be in touch with them. What tools can you use during the events? Uh, Evernote, uh, note taking. It's going to help you uh, clarify how you met someone, uh, where. What's their I don't know birthday? If they have uh, kids, if they studied abroad, if they um, are from a country in particular, you can use Swap Card. If you if you don't like to be handing out uh, business cards, you can use uh, Swap Card, which which is a digital uh, digital card uh, swapping application. Uh, doesn't matter if the other person doesn't have the 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 app you can always send them through their email. That way you get their their contact as well. Uh, reminders in your cell phone to do list for task management. Uh, proximity, uh, attendify umbrella, which are three that the event must uh, uh, the event must habilitate them. Uh, so there are for 
getting to know people I inside the event. <clears throat> So after the event, immediately after it, uh, try to go for a coffee or try to go to drinks, uh, to some drinks with uh, the people you met. Uh, it's the best way to really, really get to know them. Uh, they let their guards down. Uh, they're not as, as uptight as they might have been on the event. They probably take off their ties or their jackets or uh, they're more loose, more relaxed. Uh, you can get get to know them better in a personal manner. Uh, <clears throat> so once you get to your hotel or you get back home, uh, follow up and follow through means that if you said uh, that you were gonna send an article about how swimming makes better uh, neural activities for kids, send the email. Send the email. Uh, uh, that way people know you're a, a reliable person um, so always try to to uh, uh, chug down your 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 commitments uh, so you can have short emails uh, write some tem templates you can find them online as well uh, short emails that said hi dear uh, blank uh, uh, it was very good to know you and uh, here are my contact details here are my this is my email let's keep in touch uh, I like uh, talking I like talking to you in the event uh, whatever um, connect on LinkedIn as soon as possible so people know who you are they find you they see your face that way when you send their send them an email they can look you up and they remember who you are uh, create notes how you met someone birthdays work their industry if they have kids the personal details that you can remember about them uh, have monthly or quarterly reminders this is very important uh, so if I send you an email today uh, and I wait for December to send you another email uh, you're not you're probably not gonna remember who I am and especially if we didn't uh, connect uh, that, 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 that thoroughly. So uh, I could put a monthly reminder or a bi-monthly reminder to send you a quick note or, or research some paper that I can send you. Uh, and always, I said, give before you take. Don't let that the first email that you send be, uh, okay, so now I'm back home. Can you please give me this or can you please show me that? Uh, so try to always uh, be the first to, to, to give or to share before you, you take or, or ask something of someone. What tools can you use after the events? You can use LinkedIn, uh, as I said, to connect. LinkedIn as well has a, a, a space where you can uh, write down how you met someone the last contact you had with them. Uh, uh, you can use airmail or whatever other email uh, management uh, tool that you, you, you feel comfortable with. Uh, there is also a, a neat tool for Gmail that's called Boomerang. It lets you schedule emails and lets you uh, see the status of your email if you send an email you'll get a notification if the if the other person open it, if the other person click your links, uh, or if they just simply dismiss it. Uh, you can get those insights with Boomerang. Uh, news tool is a, a tool that gives you uh, tips and tools and news about the, your contacts, uh, <clears throat> as well as Harrow. Uh, relatedly lets you know it, it's kind of like a like a traffic light uh, system lets you know uh, your contacts in red are contacts that you have not been in touch with for a long time. Uh, then your contacts in yellow uh, are soon to be uh, <clears throat> are soon to be damaged or, or, or forgotten. Or and your contacts in re in in green are uh, are very uh, recent uh, conversations you've had. 
So um, depending on your industry, it's always good to have a, a good CRM where you uh, where you manage your customer relationships. Uh, there you will know the last purchase they made, or 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 if they're a, a possible client uh, for for your company. Um, I think that's that. That'll be all. Um, we're gonna open now uh, a Q and A. So please feel free to ask away. Okay, thanks, Mr. Inguanzo. Was a good presentation. If something is not clear, you can raise your hand. How can you do it? In your panel, in the left side, you can see a, uh, a yellow hand. You only push it, or, and we are going to open the speaker for you. Also, another way is by via chat. If you have any question about the presentation, you can raise your hand by pushing on the yellow hand in the left side of the panel. Okay, so uh, for um, Take America's uh, uh, finalists, um, the best way to find uh, investors in a related uh, industry, such as um, sharing economy or, or healthcare, uh, as, as explained before, uh, try to know who they are before you get to the event. Uh, you, have, you need to know who 
are the, if, you know, there's going to be Latin American investors, try to know who they are and what they invest in. If you have a way of presenting uh, in, in a pitch uh, your project, uh, so uh, be sure to uh, be sure to uh, express uh, that you are in that desired industry and that you know that industry. Uh, investors like to invest in, in companies that uh, how do I put this? Companies that their founders or their founding team uh, have a vast knowledge of what they're getting into. Uh, that's going to uh, reduce the risk of failure in the startup. Um, and lastly, uh, try to be um, very open to uh, suggestions uh, from the people that's there. Uh, one way investors uh, tend to uh, tend to uh, screen applicants or screen uh, possible investments. It's uh, in networking events. They're going to be asking questions. They're going to be criticizing your product. And they're going to see how you react to it. So be open to, to, to their questions. Be open to their criticism. Uh, thank them for their, their critics. Uh, the, a good way to answer a tough question is, uh, uh, hey, Mark, thank you for your question. It's a very good question. In fact, we thought about it. And the answer is this, this, and that. Uh, that's better than to be on a defensive position. That's better than uh, trying to, to, to be the guy that, that knows it all. Uh, investors don't like know-it-alls. Um, and if you try to have something that catches your attention, if you have a stand, uh, try to have a, a, a very uh, thought out stand or, 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 or uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the space where, where you're going to be, try to have uh, very detailed information about you, about your project. Uh, if you have the opportunity to print uh, a banner, uh, then make sure you design it very well that catches their attention, so they come to you instead of you going to them. Um, and always uh, have your key strengths at hand uh, because they're going to be asked. Um, how to how to approach them if, if you're going to be on the other side of the equation. Uh, if they're not going to come to you, you have to go to them. So uh, there's always a couple of, pop, of popular projects. Uh, there are going to be like uh, a lot of people there. And uh, it's like very unpolite to uh, cut someone off and start talking about your project instead of, of, of theirs. Uh, so try to uh, ease into the conversation your uh, your project. Uh, if they're talking, I don't know, if you have, uh, uh, you're building a cell phone case and the other project is about, I don't know, space technology, uh, try to see how uh, you could bring up your product or your project or your service or yourself into the conversation uh, uh, so that way you're gonna catch uh, investors attention uh, as you turn the, the, the you turn the, the situation around um, I think that's probably the best uh, advice I have to give you to uh, catch investor attention. If you're going to uh, get gifts, uh, like parting gifts, uh, try to uh, try to get something that's disposable, uh, uh, like uh, uh, and something that's not too big in size. Uh, 
if you're I don't know if you're from a Latin American country uh, or from the U.S. Uh, or don't don't bring uh, like oh this is the typical ceramic uh, doll from my country. Uh, I I like you to get it back home because you're putting them in a difficult position like uh, I don't want to put this in my bag I don't want to be carrying with this doll the whole conference uh, give them a, a piece of chocolate they can eat and, and that's it give them they're gonna uh, remember the, the that you had some kind of detail with them uh, but uh, it's not gonna be like the wrong kind of attention they're not gonna be like this is the guy that gave me the vacuum cleaner to get home or something uh, so uh, small details, uh, small pin, uh, small business card that reflects your identity. Uh, chocolate is always good. Uh, you can hand them out, and it's gonna be it's not gonna be an issue for them to carry around uh, around the, the the room. So that's a, a, a always a good advice. Okay, we have another question about from Jose. We open the speaker for you, Jose. Hi, are you able to hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, perfect. Uh, so thank you for, for, uh, for the session. It's been really uh, great, full of insights. And uh, my question is specifically for when you want to reach out to a potential investor and you do not have either um, uh, the proximity to meet him at an event, at a networking event, so you have to go to, to LinkedIn or one of these websites or, or um, uh, send him an email. How would you suggest to make that approach uh, and make a successful approach? Because most times, uh, on the other point of view, if they receive an email from someone they haven't met personally, it's going to be very difficult to, to, to actually uh, take them con into consideration. So what would you suggest uh, when we have to reach out to these types of people uh, in a virtual way or in an electronic way and be successful to get that first meeting. Thank you. All right, thank you for your question. Uh, I think, well, the first plan of attack uh, would be try as hard as you can to get an introduction. That's going to be your first, uh, your first line of defense. Uh, so it's always uh, easier to getting LinkedIn, see who do you have in common. Uh, maybe you have a, a third degree uh, 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 connection uh, that can get you an introduction to someone uh, that in the short term can give you the introduction that you need. Uh, that's why in one of the slides uh, I put start early. Uh, it's gonna take a while to get to know, uh, to get in contact with the the, the 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 guy you need to talk to that you're not uh, familiar with. You don't have, as you said, you don't have the proximity. So your first line of defense is gonna be try and try and try as hard as you can uh, to to get that that introduction. Uh, maybe. Um, you have I don't know. I'm gonna put here the 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 long uh, the long haul. It's gonna be you have maybe I don't know a cousin or a friend that knows someone who works for this person. So uh, you will have to build a relationship with the other guy first. Uh, get to know them a bit. Uh, you don't have to become BFFs, but you sure have to get to know them at some point. Uh, invite them for a drink, uh, talk about your project, uh, talk about how their company and with their help 
they can um, manage uh, the success of your of your venture and then in a while it's going to take maybe uh, a couple of weeks it's not going to be uh, uh, a one or two day thing in a couple of weeks uh, maybe you can get to know them if you have definitely no way of getting an introduction uh, <clears throat> so the uh, I think the best way would be to invest in your profile okay so short emails are always the answer so you have to have in like I don't know four lines uh, tops uh, the most you can talk to them about uh, it's always uh, if somehow you got their email off the internet do not write them an email uh, it's, it's gonna be tough explaining that hey I've been stalking you and I found your email in this website so here it goes uh, that it's gonna be it's gonna take out points of your presentation either way if you're presenting the next Uber or the next Facebook uh, it's gonna be like hey this guy uh, how did he get my personal information um, so try uh, try to get them through first try to get them through uh, a, a major professional social network uh, if you're gonna contact them on LinkedIn uh, make sure your profile is up to date and it's very thought out um, if this investor is in a particular industry uh, then try to uh, try to project in your profile that you have the knowledge of the industry uh, that you worked in the industry that you have the experience that you have the academic background that you have the, the, the means to push this uh, project forward and send them uh, you can also try uh, there's a if you're not willing to pay or, or, or you don't have the means to pay uh, a premium account for, for LinkedIn uh, try the free trial uh, it's I don't know I think it's 30 days that they get you a, a premium account and uh, you can you can use the, the free trial to to get in touch with this contacts plan plan your your contact as, as much as you can enter the free trial uh, do what you need to do uh, the free trial is going to end up uh, at some point uh, but uh, it's going to give you some insights it's going to give you the ability to contact this person if it's a, a third degree uh, and write them a short email attach something that's very clean um, your pitch deck or, or a, a link uh, try to attach a file rather than giving them a link uh, if I don't know you if you're a, a third degree or, or a fourth degree contact uh, I don't know who you are what you're sending uh, it's probably I'm not gonna click uh, on any links that you that you put uh, I don't know if that's spam, if that's phishing, if that's a, a, a Trojan horse that you're trying to put on my on my computer. Uh, so try to send a PDF. Uh, it's it's the safest way, uh, a short one as well. Two, three, four slides at most. Uh, remember, this is a first contact, and try to make it about me. Uh, what I mean by this is uh, try to make them about them not about yourself uh, what's in it for them or how it's going to be beneficial for them uh, and make the subject very sweet very short and but at the same time uh, very uh, uh, like uh, very open about what's inside and lastly uh, be sure uh, I, I mean if you contact them through Twitter that's probably not the the, the best uh, tool uh, 
but if that's the only contact you have from them, uh, well, know that maybe a response won't get met uh, and be okay with it. Try to contact them in another way. Uh, uh, if you know where they work, I, I mean the, the company, uh, try to reach out to someone in the company uh, so they so that, so that you can get uh, an introduction. Maybe this guy is a vice president of infrastructure of for I don't know Dell computers, uh, and you have you know the assistant manager in marketing. Well, maybe they're not connected directly, but at least you got one foot in the company, uh, and you can work your way up to getting to talk with the vice president of infrastructure or whatever it is you need to talk to. I don't know if I answered your question, but I hope I did. Okay, so I have a question here that it goes to if you want to create a, a network, uh, uh, a community of networking, uh, if it's best to uh, have it open uh, or have it by niche. Um, I think that the, that the main uh, thing here, I would, I would have it open. Uh, because uh, when you when you put it by niche uh, or by 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 industry, um, you get more and more people from the same uh, industry. Sometimes that uh, that doesn't add up doesn't add up to to the innovation of the ideas. Uh, it's always best when you have, if you're building a product for example, it's always best to have a designer's point of view, uh, engineer points of view, point of view, uh, psychologist, uh, etc, etc. And maybe they're not, uh, at first they're not uh, in, in they're not. Uh, they don't see eye to eye with a particular industry, so they're not going to be as willing as sign uh, uh, as willing to sign up for a community that's based on maybe I don't know uh, flying drones. Uh, if I'm a psychologist, uh, maybe I wouldn't sign up for uh, for that community. But if you make a open ended question that uh, how would uh, you think uh, parents will react to then me as a sociologist or a psychologist or something that knows the human mind, uh, I would be more willing to answer it, but that's not industry specific. So there's a good network that's called uh, Co-Founders Lab. Uh, it's open-ended uh, questions about any industry in particular. Uh, and people can chime up to answer all sorts of questions. Um, so I think um, open uh, an open community would be always best uh, as to make it centric uh, to any industry in specific. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Inguason, for this very clear presentation. We are going to upload the video of the whole converse, of the whole presentation in www.ybt.net. Well, see you in the next webinar. <laughs>